What do you say about a vehicle that can go anywhere, has refined lines, great looks, and European style? In the case of the 2021 Land Rover Defender, you say congratulations to Motor Trend's SUV of the year. Style, looks, luxury are not commonly used words when describing SUVs. Words like rugged, capable, off-road ready often fill this niche. For the Defender, all of the above apply. Originally called the 90 and the 110 because of the wheelbase, the last Defender rolled off the production line in 2016 after 2 million Land Rover series and Defenders had been assembled. Not a bad run after gaining worldwide acclaim for ruggedness and versatility. This is iconic. This vehicle has been iconic since the 40s when it came out and still is to this day. So uh, Land Rover really did a fantastic job on uh, building on that styling and uh, keeping some of the key traditions so that purists on the Land Rover will recognize it and even those that aren't will say, well, that's, that's a Land Rover for sure. It is easy to see how legacy is reflected in design. Here's an early 90s example of a soft top Defender. In 2020, the Defender made a global debut and returned to the U.S. market, still offered in two wheelbases, but sharing no technology or components with the past. The all-new Defender leaves its predecessors behind while still maintaining that legacy started 67 years ago. The award-winning SUV boasts an aluminum monocoque body, fully independent suspension. Yeah, that last sentence got me too. Can a design with comfort in mind compete with traditional live axles or lockers? Yeah, so this is, uh, is as you say, is a monocoque now. It's far stronger than anything we've ever had before. It has the fully independent suspension, which now works a lot better than uh, the old beam axles that all the traditional off-roaders have. Um, and coupled with all the modern technology, this vehicle now is as capable as any vehicle out there off-road. But the fantastic thing is, it shares so much heritage with the Range Rover, it's a fantastic vehicle to drive on the road. Currently, there are two powertrain options with a third coming, each using the eight-speed transmission and full-time four-wheel drive. Currently, we have a four-cylinder turbo, which gives you right around the 300 horsepower. There's the uh, six-cylinder Ingenium engine, which is a mild hybrid, which gives a smoother stop-start transition. And it has an electric supercharger on it, which now gives it instant, 400, 400, that's 400 horsepower. And then yeah. there, on the horizon, within the next month or so, we're gonna get the V8. And the V8's gonna have 518 horsepower. So there'll be no shortage of uh, finding a car for everyone. I have owned several off-road trucks, SUVs, and a Jeep Wrangler. The Defender 90 doesn't drive like any of them. I was in all the power and torque combination with the i6, but what really shocked me, the impressive air ride suspension. There's no penalty for the off-road side of things in this car. Historically, you'd have to have some kind of penalty. You'd have to ride harsh, be jacked up, be a little unstable perhaps, um, a high-speed cornering. This one can automatically settle down to its predicted safe driving height at speed. Now, since these units were already spoken for, we didn't have a chance to test the acclaimed off-road chops. For the short time I spent in the Defender, all I can say is the 2021 lineup is spacious, smooth, and no matter the engine choice, power packed. No wonder it's the 2021 SUV of the year. Now, if you have one of these Defenders and would like me to take it off-road, you know where to find me.